it's fair to say that a lot of sightings or reports are based upon misidentifications of natural phenomenon or advanced weapons, vehicles, or whatever. But I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about a class of events that have taken place after I've taken all those away. Dr. Richard Haynes is a former NASA scientist who has documented a large number of very special UFO sightings. His 3,000 reports were all filed by airplane pilots, like this one from a Japan Airlines captain, whose close encounter of something was confirmed at the time by ground control. United 69 Heavy Strap, got a Japan Air 747. Presently in your 11 o'clock position, and he has traffic uh, following him, sir. It's unknown traffic. I keep you advised uh, when you're closer to him. I want you to see if you see anything with him. Pilots are very good observers. They're trained, they're highly motivated. An example of the reliable sightings in Dr. Haynes' files came from Captain Neil Daniels, a top United Airlines pilot with 35 years experience. I was flying a DC-10 from San Francisco to Boston. We were flying at 37,000 feet. When the airplane started to turn to the left, uh, I looked out the window to, to clear, as all pilots do, and I saw this, this very bright light, this object off to the left wing tip of the airplane. But the thing that... Uh, what I found interesting was uh, it had disrupted all three of the compasses on board the aircraft. Air traffic control in Boston uh, said, United 94, where do you think you're going? And I said, well, I'll let you know when we figure it out. The disturbance of the compasses represents one of the many patterns Dr. Haynes has been able to study by comparing the 3,000 cases. So I have a whole chapter which deals with the pilot flying along, minding his own business usually, and if something comes up along the, pl the, the near the airplane and does this right around the front of the airplane, it corkscrews. Extraterrestrial is a, a an attractive hypothesis because then we can postulate that they're maybe a thousand years ahead of us in, our, in their science. One of the aspects I'm very interested in is if it is extraterrestrial, what they're up to, why are they here?